Good morning, everybody. It is day five here in Turks and Caicos. We had a great night's sleep. I got up this morning and got a workout in, and now we're heading to breakfast. I actually forgot where our reservation was for, but it's either Neptunes or Schooners, and either way, you can't go wrong. So we're just waiting on Kodio or Omar to get here, and then we're gonna head out. Also today, we are gonna be snorkeling at 1045, and one thing that's really interesting about beaches is all your water sports and activities are included. So snorkeling is included, so you get on a boat and they take you out to the reef which is the second largest only to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and so I hope that we're gonna see a lot of really cool things um, it's gonna be a really great day let's get it started Beaches Resorts are an all-inclusive family-centric branch of Sandals with three locations throughout the Caribbean I headed to Beaches Turks and Caicos with my family for a week of adventure relaxation and fine dining this property boasts four distinct villages featuring the architecture and ambiance of Italy, France, the Caribbean, and Key West. Everything is included from the attractions of the 45,000 square foot water park to water sports on a world famous 12 mile beach and even 21 international unlimited dining options. We'll explore all that and more right here on Alleyways. To Neptune's for breakfast. Sorry my lens is a little foggy. It's humid in the mornings and the glass is still cold from being in the room. Neptunes, there is a great menu, I'll show you guys in a second, but they also have a continental breakfast that you can eat off of while you're here. So you guys can see there's lots of pastries and breads. And then on this side, over here, there is yogurt and milk and cereal and Kodio. <laughs> so it's nice because there's so many options and I know probably if you have children, this would be a great thing for you. So here is a look at the menu. It's actually a huge breakfast menu. And I'm thinking this morning I'm gonna go with the avocado toast, but I might also have to order some muesli as well. So I'm starting out with the muesli and it looks incredible. I also have some avocado toast on the way and we got a French toast for the table. So here's a look at the doorstopper French toast. And here is the avocado toast. Okay, we've been relaxing in our cabana. We're in cabana number six today. And now that we've gotten a little bit rested up and all sunscreened, we are headed to snorkel. So I'm gonna take the GoPro out with me and show you guys what it's like. All right.
going was a blast. The water was pretty rough. It didn't really look like it. It didn't look strong from the boat, but once you got in, it was really, really strong. So it made it a little hard to snorkel, but I think we're gonna go into a different reef either later today or tomorrow, but we definitely snorkeled up an appetite. So we're gonna go get sushi at Bayside for lunch now. So this is where you can get um, made to order sushi at Bayside. And it's one of my favorite things to do here. You can see right now, they make it fresh for you right back there. So I got a spicy shrimp roll and a California roll. Thank you. Look how amazing this looks, you guys. Thank you so much. That is my lunch today. Okay, so after Bayside, everybody wanted to come try Mario's for lunch. And at Mario's, they have a salad bar. So I'll take you guys with me so you can check that out. Bolognese. Okay, we just finished second lunch at Mario's and now we're going to Bobby D's to get a milkshake. And I love Bobby D's because it's actually inside of a pirate ship. So I'm going to show you guys that. So, Bobby D's. Underneath the canopy is the entrance. And we're going to go in there because they have really great milkshakes and ice cream that you can get. So let's go on in. lazy afternoon after ice cream we came back to the cabana and I took a big nap then we went out on the Hobie cat on a super wild ride uh, with Vigel and we went up on one side of the boat like this and we're gonna meet up with him again tomorrow morning and go out and I will take the GoPro this time so you guys can see just how crazy it is and after that we just came back up to the cabana and it is 4 30 now and we don't have dinner reservations till 7.45, so we like to eat a snack in the afternoon. And I got pizza from Dino's. And so I'm gonna have a little bit of this and then it's gonna be time to go and get ready for, for dinner after, after my late afternoon snack. So that's what's going on now. Um, tonight we're going to Schooners for dinner and it is just so beautiful and so nautical. It feels like you're on a beach vacation there. I just came in from my shower and our afternoon snack is chocolate dipped pineapple and brie with bread and candied pecans and some berries. Amazing, I'm gonna try them both. Okay everybody, I'm all ready for dinner. This is my outfit tonight. I got these pants slash trousers. I'm pretty sure from TJ Maxx last year. This top is from Shein. My necklace is from Charlotte Roofs. The earrings are from Rainbow and I just did my hair up in kind of like a half up, half down top knot. Schooners, where we're going to, like I said earlier, it's like very classic nautical, it's on the beach. So I wanted something kind of fun and laid back. There's no dress code there, but I thought this would kind of match the feel of the restaurant. So for now, I'm standing out on the porch and just enjoying the sunset. This trip has been so good for the whole family and coming out here every day and getting to enjoy the sunset really reminds you why vacation is so important. It's a time to just count your blessings and enjoy life and kind of take a minute to unplug, relax, and you know, just be grateful. And that's definitely been something that's happened for me this trip and I've really treasured the time that I can sit out here and just enjoy the sunset and do small things like that that I don't normally do at home and so I just wanted to stop and say that I'm so grateful for this and I'm grateful for you all so thank you for continuing to come back to the channel I love you guys so much um let's go eat dinner okay we're walking to dinner now with Cody the man 
having dinner at Schooners tonight. Schooners, the best restaurant ever in the property. Yes, okay, tell everybody what your favorite dish is at Schooners. So, we're on our way to Schooners and I change. You know what, I love the grouper. Grouper? Yes. That's what I've That's been what I've been hearing is that the grouper is really good. So we might just have to follow your recommendations, Cody. Yes. Just like this morning for the avocado toast. Huh? Yes, and it was so good. You did not lead us astray. And look what a beautiful walk we have, you guys. Look how beautiful. The sunset just keeps getting prettier. Here we are. Dinner at Schooners. You can hear they have live music. Look at the moon coming up in the sky. And the ocean, the sunset. And this is Schooners. It looks like a personal beach home. And I just love it here because it feels so beachy. dinner at Schooners and it was amazing wasn't it? Yes. Very what good. was your favorite thing that you had? Uh, Talk loud because it's loud out here. Probably the dessert. The dessert was really really good but the steak was also delicious. And the taters. I don't, I don't need any of the taters but I should have. I'm getting full so fast because all we do basically is eat all day. I mean I'm sure you guys have seen that. But now I think we're going to just walk around the property a little, stretch our legs, try and get some of this food worked off. And then I think we're going to bed early tonight because we're coming right back here to Scooters tomorrow morning for breakfast. So we randomly decided to walk up to the French Village to stretch our legs and we happened upon this. I haven't even mentioned on the vlog, but they have entertainment every night in this open air theater. So here's a look at it. They're dancing. It's a competition to be the reggae king or queen, and I'm definitely voting for him. and cookies okay. waiting for us and beautiful towel animals. Cody, oh, thank you so much for that. You guys, we just took a nice stroll after the reggae king and queen dance off slash competition. It was hilarious. Our walk was so nice and it was another great day. I'm so sad that tomorrow is our last day, but we've got an action packed day planned and I'm gonna bring you guys along for all of it right here on Alleyways. See you guys tomorrow.